Hello, Aries. This is your life and love focus for the month of January 2019. Happy New Year. Thank you for your beautiful energy. Thank you for showing up and showing out. <laughs> so I am G1 Writer with G1 Insights, and I'm going to do a general life and love reading for you. If you would like something more personal just for you, then comment below. Message me. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know if you would like a personal reading. I actually have a lot of sales going on right now, Aries. So take advantage of what I have going on. Check out my website, g1insights.org, okay? Aries, oh, there's so much happening for you. Okay, top of the line, top of the year, your focus is or has been all about forgiveness. Okay, I see forgiveness here. It is time for you guys to rethink the process. Go over things that you are mad about. Are you really that upset? Is it really worth it when it's all said and done? Are you going to be still fighting about the same thing in about three years that you are fighting about today? Focus on forgiveness, okay? If this has not been your main priority lately, then this will be a main factor for you for this season. Because, see, Aries, you have been through so much and you have so much to work through but forgiveness is key. And I actually talked about that here on YouTube about forgiveness being the key to love, to true happiness, to satisfaction. Okay? We have to learn to forgive. And only you know what that really means for you. For each and every one of you, this energy is going to play out differently. For some of you, this may be forgiving you. Forgiving yourself. This could be forgiving your parents. Forgiving your spouse. Okay? Forgiving the fact that you have made a lot of dumb choices in the past. Okay? This is you literally moving on. See, at the end of December, we had the energy in Cancer. The full moon was in Cancer. However, the sun was in Capricorn. So while a lot of us were kind of contemplating about the past and thinking about how we can move on from the past, that whole new sun and Capricorn energy was motivating us to get it together, to start up whatever we finished, what we never got to finish, right? Um, and it, it doesn't help. I mean, well, it does help actually when Saturn is in Capricorn also because that is Capricorn's ruling planet. And Saturn is all about hard work and structure and stability, being direct, being serious and really strict. It is the planet of restriction. So if you have any Capricorn in your birth chart anywhere, then you may feel like it's time to buckle down. It's time to get serious, okay? I also see chakra clearance here, okay? Chakra clearing card is basically with Archangel Metatron, and you guys have heard me talk about Archangel Metatron a few times. Archangel Metatron is one of the angels who has once walked the earth, so Archangel Metatron knows exactly what we are feeling and what we are going through in this lifetime and how difficult it is for some of us, okay? So Archangel Metatron can actually relate, so whenever you are feeling like you're going through such a hard time, feel free to call on Archangel Metatron. Let them, you know, let him know, I need you. I need your guidance. I need reassurance. I feel lost. I feel useless. You know, call on Archangel Metatron to guide you through the next six months. The next six months is going to be interesting because it's the start of a new journey. Now, January, the top of the year, okay, we are still, for some of us, we're going to be dealing with that whole full moon and cancer energy. But then some of us are 
um, going to be happy because there is a new moon in Capricorn. Okay, so if you do have Capricorn in your birth chart, this is going to be a really good time for you, okay? We have a new moon in Capricorn, but we also have a new moon solar eclipse in Capricorn. And what that means is that it's either now or never. Like, there's no piggyback. There's no, oh, I need to think about it. Let me straighten this out first. No, this is diving straight in, taking care of your business, being methodical, being serious, you know, not taking life for granted, this is you being honest about what you really want and what you feel like you deserve. This is all about your finances, your hopes, your goals, your dreams, the reality of love, anything that is happening within your home. This is you basically working towards those goals, okay? So if your goal initially was to work on your marriage that is what you'll be focused on if your goal is to work on your health that is what you will be focused on whatever your main focus was saturn comes in to help us stay focused on that energy and that is what i love about the capricorn new moon is because we can all get back to work like yeah it was all fun last year but let's go it's a new year new me new time new plans, right? For some of you, even a new family, new horizon, expansion, doing something better, okay? So this is really, really good for you, Aries. You're in a really good position to pick and choose where you want to be. So this is really good. I also see Archangel Satifon, Archangel Satiphon was also another angel who has also walked the earth. So you are being double guided here, okay? Your angels are bringing you gifts from your creator. So all you need to do at this point is just be open to receiving the knowledge, the love, the respect, you know, the prosperity, if someone feels like they want to reward you for something, this is time to receive it, to be thankful. When it comes to love, it says to simply get to know each other. Make the effort, okay? Great love is worth taking the step that, steps that you are guided to take. However, you have to make the effort. You want to get to know this person, make the effort. In other words, take this person on a trip. Because I also see retreat here. And this is actually, this particular card actually came out in Aquarius reading. Okay, so if you have Aquarius anywhere in your birth chart, please review their reading as well. Like I know for me, for example, I have Venus in Aquarius. So I know that looking at this is confirmation. So it is definitely time to disconnect from the world, to focus on your goals and priorities, to focus on your family, your money, your home. If you're thinking about renovating, if you're thinking about child care, if you're thinking about having a baby, you know, this is all representing new beginnings, my love. So as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bonds will deepen. Try to be as honest with this person. Try to speak your heart, to speak your mind. Let them know what you are feeling and what you are going through, what you're dealing with. You know, even if it is a financial issue or if it is a health issue, I feel like you will have this particular person in your corner specifically just to be there for you so take advantage in a good way for the support take advantage of the love and the concerns you know i feel like there's someone in your corner that really does love you or have a crush on you for some of you and for some of you this is somebody who has really deep feelings for you but just don't know how to tell you so pay attention to your surroundings pay attention to how you are treating people pay attention to the things that you are saying to other people okay make the effort if you feel like you have deep feelings for someone and you have not been able to tell them lately you will now have the confidence and the courage to do so. You will be able to sit them down and let them know exactly how you feel. For some of you, you may go visit this person. This person might think about 
coming to visit you. You guys might be making plans, might be dating, going on a few dates. You know, um, if you decide to have sex with this individual, I will say, of course, use protection. However, I want you to get to know this person first, okay? Be old school about it. You don't have to feel like you have to rush into this particular partnership. You don't have to rush. Make the effort. Get to know this person, okay? Get to know each other, all right? If it takes the fact that you guys may be thinking about marriage or going away together, planning a cruise together, a trip together, whatever it is, take the necessary time to really get to know this person, okay? It's nothing wrong with crushing on them and loving them, but get to know this individual, okay? I also see here opportunities or different options. If you feel like you are in the process of trying to decide what you want to do financially, if you're trying to decide what you want to do emotionally, you know, um, deciding if you want to get to know this person or not, or if you feel like you want to leave this job, or if you want to start your own business, you know, try to be as open-minded as possible, because I do see a grant opportunity. There are many, many, many options that are available to you, but some of you are so skeptical because you have been through some things, so a lot of you are skeptical, and you don't want to just take the risk and I understand that however this is the perfect season for you to remain as open-minded as possible even when it comes to love even when it comes to your career even when it comes to your finances or making some type of decision in regards to your health okay this is the perfect season for you to remain open-minded you don't have to feel pressured at this time okay the sun card also came out, which is what I love, by the way. It actually made me very happy because I see gifts from God here, from your archangels, from Archangel Satyphon, and I also see the sun card here. So it lets me know that there is potential for a new beginning for you. For a lot of you, this is a new start, new home, a new relationship, a new beginning, new marriage, um, some of you are getting engaged. This could even represent a, some type of celebration, pregnancy, um, anything beautiful that really honors you and make you feel loved um, and grounded. Yeah, get ready because this is your season, my love. I don't feel like there's anything you have to be afraid of. I feel nothing but good energy coming from this, okay? You also have the angel of strength. The angel of strength, it is what it is. You are now in a great position to manifest whatever it is that you have been thinking about, dreaming about, wishing for, hoping for. Literally, like heaven is literally answering your prayers. The universe has heard you. They has heard your call. They know what you need. They know what you want to need of. They know that you need love and support. They know you need your finances back on track. They are there. All you have to do is meditate, pray. Whatever it is that you do to help manifest greatness onto yourself, you want to tap into this energy my love you do have the angel of strength guiding you and protecting you from all harm and danger from anything that does not feel well you are protected and guided you have it all okay the universe is blessing you wholeheartedly my love so all you have to do is just get ready because there are gifts from god coming to you my love be open to receiving Okay, you are blessed. Like I said, dear love, in the very beginning, focus on that forgiveness. You cannot be successful when you're holding so many grudges and when you're so upset and when you don't want to let things go. We have to learn to forgive, okay? So I love you, Aries. This has been your overall life and love energy for the month of January 2019 please like share and follow or subscribe thank you for your love and support check out my website g1insights.org for a personal reading 
because this is a general reading, my love, and for each and every one of you, the energy is going to play out differently. So you want to make sure you take advantage of the sales that I have going on because it very well might be your time, my love, okay? Thank you for everything. Bye, Aries.